Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about equivalent ratios. Now in ratios also we have certain ratios which over a p which actually mean the same number. So different ratios representing the same number are called equivalent ratios. So equivalent, the word equivalent has equi means equal. So they actually represent the equal number end of the day. So let us look at examples. So let us understand equivalent ratios with an example. So let us again take examples of A and B. So let's say this is A and this is B. Now let's say that A ate one fifth of the pizza. That is A ate one slice out of five slices of the pizza. Whereas B ate two fifth of the pizza. Two slices out of the five slices. So what would be the ratio of the amount of pizza eaten by A by the amount of pizza eaten by B? So the ratio would be 1 by 5 divided by 2 by 5 which would actually be 1 is to 2 right so this would be the ratio fine now we will look at equivalent ratios of this ratio that is we will see that there are many different ratios but they basically represent 1 is to 2 so we will look at those kind of ratios now let's say that instead of eating one slice out of five slices, let's say that if a would have eaten two slices of pizza out of five slices of pizza and if B would have eaten four slices of pizza out of five slices of pizza if this would have happened. In this case what would be the ratio? So the ratio here also would be 2 by 5 divided by 4 by 5 which would again be 1 is to how much? How much would this be? This is not 1 is to 2. This is going to be 2 is to 4. So 2 is to 4 is definitely a different ratio than 1 is to 2. But basically 2 is to 4 represents the same thing as 1 is to 2. How can you write 2 is to 4? So 2 is to 4 can be written as 2 by 4. So 2 to the 4, this is 1 by 2. This can be written as 1 is to 2. So 2 is to 4 even though it is a different ratio. But this also means the same basic ratio which is 1 is to 2. Now let, let's look at yet another example. Let's say that if A would have eaten 5 slices out of 10 slices of pizza. Let's say you have 2 pizza or you have a bigger pizza with 10 slices and A ate 5 slices out of 10 slices. And let's say that B ate 10 slices out of 10 slices. That means B ate the entire big pizza of 10 slices. So in this case what would be the ratio? So the ratio in this case would be 5 by 10 divided by 10 by 10 which would be equal to 5 is to 10. So 5 is to 10 again is a different ratio but again when you simplify it or when you try to reduce it further you see that this is also equal to 1 is to 2. So here we can see that these ratios like 1 is to 2, 2 is to 4, 5 is to 10, these are all examples of equivalent ratios. So these ratios are equivalent to each other. So these are called equivalent ratios because they represent the same ratio. Now looking at this example, can you tell me that how are we getting these equivalent ratios? Let's say if you have 1 is to 2, if I ask you to make equivalent ratios of 1 is to 2, what would you do? Like what should you do to make 2 is to 4 from 1 is to 2? You just multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. So you will get 2 is to 4. Right? Similarly, if you multiply the numerator and denominator by 5, what do you get? You get 5 is to 10. So multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same number, you can actually get as many equivalent ratios as you want. So this is the concept of equivalent ratios. So be Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.